it takes some getting used to being hurt, playing with something, but I mean, it's part of the game. Blessed to be, blessed to be in a position that I'm in, and I'm just trying to help the team win. And you know, you got to sacrifice some things sometimes. So I know I try to put everything on the line just to help us win the ball games on them Sundays. How do you think you've been doing with that? You know, it, just, it seems like the production hasn't been where it was mm -hmm. early. I mean, early in the year, I think you, you really stepped up a little bit. Yeah. Since the injury, not as much. How do you think you're doing trying to continue to produce even with the injury? Uh, yeah, obviously, since I've been working my way back, I haven't been as productive. But I'm getting back to uh, where I was at in the beginning of the year, slowly but surely. So, I mean, I'm excited for this next half of the season, and I'm excited to go out there and make an impact, help us win even more games to get to the playoffs. What have you learned about how to play through the injury? I've been doing it since I've been in the league, so mm -hmm. it's really it's nothing new for me, honestly. How impactful? I mean, obviously, it's impactful that yeah. the guys you've lost, that's hurt the pass rush a little bit, you know, in general. Yeah. Jim, can you quantify how much the pass rush has missed some of those guys? Because you got you know, the sack numbers are down, the pressure numbers yeah. are down. Oh, stat, I don't know about yeah. I mean, and at the end of the day, like sometimes sacks and all that stuff, it's not, it's not, it's not everything. You could have a quarter, you could have a game where you have three, four quarterback hits and not have the sack. So I feel like it kind of comes down to winning on one on ones and uh, just kind of winning in those crucial moments of the game because those are the moments like the third and fourth quarter that everybody's looking at, over analyzing. But it's not always like, oh. This person didn't get this many sacks. He's not doing his job. You could have a, I've had some of my best games where I didn't have a sack. So, I mean, it's a work in progress. Obviously, we got people banged up and all that stuff, but we're just going to keep going, keep fighting, keep getting better, and uh, make this playoff push. You guys have blitzed a little bit more in the last four weeks. Percentages have gone up. Yeah. Is that part of the reason why, you know, you're answering the fact that the front four hasn't been getting the same amount of pressure? Uh, I'm not sure for real, you know. Uh, us, us blitzing or not blitzing, that's, that's up to the uh, coach and whatever. Plan Coach McDermott has for us. We trust that plan, whether it's blitzing, whether it's if, even if it was dropping everybody or rushing four, we're going to do it and execute it to our highest capability. Not that you ever you know don't want to get to the quarterback, but is there a little more urgency to do it considering all the injuries that are going on behind you defensively so far? Nah, I don't think there's any more urgency than there than there is on the regular because we're always out there trying to get get to the quarterback and make those big plays. So we're always gunning after strip sacks, the takeaways, all that stuff. And we're going to get back to that. But, you know, like the NFL is tough, obviously. And sometimes it can kind of take you like this, but you just got to get on that constant line and just be consistent and just try to go vertical while you're going uh, game by game. Have you seen Vaughn kind of handle getting back and, and improving along the way? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, as you guys know, Vaughn, Vaughn's been working his way back, and I'm glad to see him out there. It's, it's not the same without him on the field, so it's been fun to see him come along. And he's only going to keep getting better game by game. He's so positive. I mean, is that something almost inspiring in a way to see how mentally strong he can be? I'd say, yeah, Vaughn's real mentally strong. Comes to work every day, keeps going. We know it's tough and we know what he's going through, but he's working his way through, and we all we all got his back, and that's what matters. You talk about it, how it's good to see him out there. Can he have, has he had an impact just being there for you guys, even if he's not getting the sacks himself? Yeah, like I said, sacks are on everything. He has had an impact, and just Vaughn being here, just his, just his presence and all that, and just talking and talking with him, a friend in the locker room, chopping it up with him in meetings or just during the game. That's that's what always meant the most to me, and I'm sure it's like that for the rest of the people in our room. When you talk about sacks and everything, is there a conscious effort to force turnovers? It's been yeah. it's been a little bit like Sean talked about how you kind of talk things into existence and things yeah. like that. Is that just been another yeah. point of emphasis this week? to yeah. get some turnovers. I feel like it's like that every week. And when I say sacks aren't everything. I'm saying you can't judge how somebody's playing off of like, right. oh, did they get a sack or not? But right. sacks are a big deal, obviously, because you hit the quarterback. A lot of times you're looking downfield, the ball can come out. That's an opportunity for a takeaway strip sack. And yeah, we need to start doing that some more. I, I know I need to start doing that some more. So it's definitely something that we're going to get back to. But um, but yeah, uh, like, like I said, in a way, they're not everything, but also they're, they make huge plays. Or you can hit the quarterback while he's throwing it, interception, pressure on the quarterback. So all that stuff kind of comes together, and it's all kind of the same vibe.